Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So yesterday, the topic of backing up and restoring Active Directory came up. And so I wanted to share with you this simple system state backup that I install on every domain controller. Look for these scripts in the description down below. Here's the batch file that I run to do the install on every domain controller. It creates a temp folder, it goes to the temp folder, and then it copies the other files, install WB admin bat, system state bat, and system state XML. And then these are the contents of each of those files. So this is the first server that we're going to be installing it on. So we're just going to push D to C temp. And we're not going to be able to copy from the master server because this will become the master server in a sense. Let's go ahead and look in the C temp folder here for these files. So the first thing we're going to do is install Windows Backup Admin. This is very straightforward using the DISM command, installing the feature Windows Server Backup. You can do this in PowerShell too. System State Bat is the actual backup that will run every day at 11 p.m. Okay, so it deletes the previous backup. We're only keeping yesterday's backup, essentially. Yes, in the grander scheme of things, you're going to back up the system state and do a bare metal backup of key domain controllers, say at a data center, like your FISMO roles, and you're going to archive and retain those backups. But this is just a local system state backup that you have on every domain controller, which makes it handy to have a quick look at things as they were the day before. And we're going to do that in the next video. There's one more file we want to look at, the system state XML. Let's just open it up in Notepad here. There's three areas that you'll want to update. The author, so you domain backslash username. The principal, this is the service account that this task will run under. Again, domain and username. And then finally, if you change any of the paths, like say you don't want to use ctemp, you're going to want to update this path here as well. So let's talk through the install part. So this runs the install Windows Backup Admin Bat, and then this uses the scheduled tasks command to create that scheduled task based on the system state XML file. Again, look for all of the code in the description down below. So let's get started then. Okay, so Windows Backup is installed and the scheduled task, we can go see that it has been created. I'm just gonna hit refresh. Oh, there it is. So you just may have to go in here and set the service account password. You also have to set run whether the user is logged in or not. You can say don't store password because it's only going to have access to local resources. Again, we're just running a local system state backup. And I'm going to run with highest privileges. And let's go ahead and run this job. While that's running, let's look at the system state batch file again. I didn't go into great detail, but like I said, it's going to delete the previous version. And then it's going to create a new system state backup and the backup target is the D drive. So that explains that code there for you. Right now we can see the D drive is empty. It's been formatted and there's nothing there. So we'll see what happens next. Okay, so we can see that system state job has just completed and now we go on to look at the resulting output here. So the D drive was blank. Now it has this Windows image backup folder. There's the name of the server, Phoenix DC1. And we roll in here and we can see the hard disk image files. There's two of them. I'm assuming one of them is the operating system, the system disk, and the other one's probably Active Directory and Sysvol rolled into one. So in the next video, we're going to restore the NTDS DIT file from this backup and then load it up in Active Directory and view the contents of it. So it'll be like peeking back in time. So stay tuned. Okay, so look for the code in the description down below. Give this video a like. Click over there to subscribe and click up here to check out my Active Directory playlist. Thank you very much. 
Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.